What's up internet? Welcome to Child Studios. In today's video I'm going to be talking about how to uh, debug a, a modern node application using a Visual Studio code. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and just um, let's get, uh, go ahead and get started. So uh, on this page here um, I have um, this is the uh, documentation or the, um, the website for um, there's a plugin for Visual Studio code uh, for for debugging node apps. Now, if you uh, hopefully your 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 editor you've updated it, and, and as long as you keep it up to date, then the plugin is actually already installed, so you don't need to in install the plugin uh, to verify that. Now, I already have some code that that I've written, and um, this code actually has a bug in it, and so we're going to use Visual Studio Code to uh, to find the bug, uh, figure out what's going on, and then fix the bug. So obviously that's the point of a debugger is to help you find is to help you find your bug. So I've injected a bug in here, and we're going to try and find out where it is using um, uh, some uh, some debugging techniques. So when you, when you're using Visual Studio Code, one of the first things you're going to do is you want to make sure that the um, this debugger extension is included. So on the left hand side, if you click this little um, the bottom square icon, uh, and you type in uh, let's see, node. <clears throat> um, let me double check this. Uh, yeah, debug two. So if you do that and you click on this, um, it's called the uh, node debug two. It's made by uh, Microsoft. Actually, writes it. Uh, so if you can see here, it it says built in. So you don't have to install this plugin. Um, it's it comes with it. Now it's a bit experimental. The 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 idea behind this plugin uh, is that it works for uh, Node version 6.3 or higher. Um, so I'm currently running um, Node uh, Node 7.6. So so this is way higher than 6.3. Hopefully you're you're using. Uh, something 6.3 or higher too. Obviously, look if you're watching this from the future, you're, you definitely are. Um, so, but that is one constraint. Now, there there are obviously other ways of debugging Node apps, but I'm showing you the I'm showing you a modern uh, the, the modern t contemporary way of, of of debugging them. So instead of like the old way, which can be buggy and, and error prone. So this is the this is the uh, actually the 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 right way t to uh, be debugging Node apps going forward okay so make sure you have this uh, plug-in uh, well, after you have that the next thing you have to do obviously you have to have some code you want to edit um, there is a little bug icon with um, a, a line a line through it meaning of course no bugs so if you click on that what you have to do is you have to create a what's called a, a debug configuration so at the top where it says no configuration um, just click on it and then where it says add configuration click that and then it says what kind of configuration do you want and we're going to choose the top one where it says no 63 plus or greater experimental uh, it is slightly experimental but it does work pretty good so I'm going to click on that the attach configuration so you do that and it's added actually three different uh, configurations one this top one is the experimental one and then these other these bottom two are like traditional ways of debugging your node app but if you just want to like remove the other ones you don't have to do this uh, but just to kind of keep the clutter to a minimum uh, I remove them because if you're not getting like if I'm not using those configurations I just remove it now, obviously, if I want to use it later, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll add it in. But um, so how this works is it says type is equal to node two. That's the uh, experimental support for six three or higher. This thing has to say node two. If you're using a version six three less than six three, you would just say node. And it says attach and attach to port nine two two nine. So when this node process spins up, it's gonna um, be listening on port 9229 and then VS Code will uh, make a, a, a socket connection to that port, listen, and then it can they can communicate back and forth uh, between Visual Studio Code and uh, and Node across that port. So this is the uh, this is the default port for this new uh, for this new extension. Now there 
uh, Node has a, um, I forget the ports, like 5.8, 5.8 or something. Uh, that may not be exactly correct. But there's another port for uh, for um, legacy Node debugging, but 9.2.2.9 is the, is the new one. So anyway, this is my, I have the, uh, I have the plugin installed, step one or maybe step one is that Visual Studio. Step two, I had the plugin installed, the Node 2 plugin. Step three, I have this configuration. Once I have all three of those things, I'm kind of ready to go. Um, yes, so I'm just gonna go here and start the application. Now it's just a little app here. And like I said, there's a bug in it and I need to try and find the problem. So I'm gonna start this thing up by typing in uh, node dash dash inspect dash dash debug dash brk and then uh, the name of the file index.js so um, you can see right here it says this is an experimental feature and could change um, but um, hopefully not so just to show you a little bit about what's going on here you can actually copy this URL and if you wanted to you could go to Chrome uh, paste it in and um, yeah, sorry, and paste it in. You can actually see the code here in 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 my in my editor, and I can just I can step through this just like this. And this is sort of what we're going to be doing in VS Code as well too. Um, you can step through it and see all your variables and their values, etc. So there's obviously one way of doing it, and that's a, a fine. But typically, you want to like look at your code uh, in in your actual IDE. Um, so, okay. So how would I do this in the IDE instead? Uh, so you just start it up again, right? Then you go back to your editor, and now in the drop down, uh, it says attached to port. That's that configuration we added. You just click the green arrow, and voila, there it is. It's um, it stopped. It's now you're now in debug mode. So the yellow, the line, this yellow bar is where we're actually at. And I can click this um, sort of like bent arrow where it says step over and I can just click on it and I can hover over root and see what it is. It says, oh, it's a function. And then I can click over this nums thing, what is nums? And it says, oh, it's an array. It looks like it goes from one to nine. And then uh, the next one is this cubes thing. So if you're like, what's that? You can hover over and it says, oh, one, eight, 27, 64. So it's called cubes because it's an array of cubes. And then the next one is this root cubes, and you're like, well, what's that? And you hover over that. And basically what this is supposed to do is, is, is on line six, I have a bunch of cubes, one, eight, 27, 64. Line uh, seven, what that's doing, is that's actually taking the square root of those cubes. If you hover over this, you can see it's 0 0.5, 4, 13.5. This is actually incorrect. Um, these values are, are, are not correct, meaning it's not actually taking the square root of, of those cubes. That, that was the actual bug that I introduced into this program. Um, but you can see that using this debugger, right? You can see the variables and you can see what's going on. And you're like, well, why, well, why is that error happening? I'm gonna press the stop button. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's happening because um, the uh, right here, the power is it's it's doing x to the one, and then it's dividing it by two, um, which is the problem. So what I want to do is I actually just want to put parentheses um, around that, so it does so it does x to the half power instead of x to the one divided by two. That was that that was the actual problem. Is is you should and of course you know typically I always put parentheses around things that are slightly ambiguous just to make sure that it runs in the correct order. So I theoretically found my bug, wrote my code, or fixed my code. Now I wanna come back here and um, and rerun it, my inspector. So I start this thing back up again, running, and I click attach to process. It starts running again. I click that, 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 that go through it, click root, uh, root cubes, I hover over it, and then bam, these are actually the correct values now. Um, so that's about it. I just wanted to show you a quick way. VS Code, of course, is a really cool editor. Um, this uh, this uh, this debugging feature is really cool. Allows you to, you know, before debugging JavaScript on the server was always painful, uh, but as you can see with this, it's actually pretty easy. So. Um, Anyway, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it and um, stay tuned for other videos. Thank you.